Uh, Yisha and I are part of the same community, uh, specifically uh, former Soviet Jews. And uh, I'll just tell you guys real quick. When I made Aliyah in 2010 originally, I set off uh, what I like to call a nuclear weapon in my family. Uh, because my parents took me out of the Soviet Union. Um, and there's a million Russian-speaking Jews in America. Over a million. Um, they're a peculiar group. They are very, very right-wing. They love Israel. They love Rabbi Kahana. But they eat, a lot of them eat pork. A lot of them don't really care about uh, Judaism, Torah, holidays, etc. Maybe sometimes they go for it's something called Itzkor, for their rel dead relatives. Once in a blue moon, they go for Rosh Hashanah and Kippur, maybe Pesach, here and there. Uh, they're closer to Chabad. You're never going to find them in a reform or conservative shul unless you go to a certain place like Boston or San Francisco. Some of them vote, most of them vote for Trump. Some of them vote for uh, not Trump. I came up to Josh uh, an hour ago or two hours ago, and I asked him, I wanted to speak to the guy from Nefesh from Nefesh and ask him, what do you guys do about Russian-speaking Jews from America? He goes to me, this issue was passed on to this organization called Nativ. Nativ used to be part of Mossad, and now it's, I guess, Lishkat HaKesher or something like that. And when I made Aliyah, I was dealing with them because uh, anybody who comes from the former Soviet Union, they consider us kind of like question marks. So they have to check. Even though my parents are well-known refuseniks from Lvov, but they still have to check who you are. Are you Jewish? Are you not? So I'm asking someone here in the audience or anybody watching, what are you going to do about 1 million Russian-speaking Jews in America? How do you get them to make Aliyah? Most of them are not religious. Most of them look at Israel as the poor place that their cousins or friends went to, the place they, they send money to, the place they watch on television, the place they support, the place they hope Donald Trump is going to save, as if it at this point matters who's going to be the president of America as much as I'm a fan. So I'm asking I'm asking a question. You know, I'm not tuning my own horn. I do what I can. I'm I'm visiting here right now at the moment because uh, you know, my parents took me out of the former Soviet Union and I'm it's not my goal to take them out of America. So I kind of do what I can in the Northeast. I have friends that do what they can in Miami. I have other friends that do what they can wherever wherever they are. I'm talking about maybe like people I can count on one hand, including myself. Some of you guys have backgrounds. You know, I meet I meet American Jews, Ashkenazi American Jews, and I tell them I'm Russian. They're like, oh, I'm Russian too. You know, my grandfather and my great-grandfather. <laughs> guys, a million people, a million people. I, maybe some of them, them are waking up. Maybe they're realizing that it's not smart anymore to send their kids to Ivy League schools. It's a dream for all of them. My mother also was pushing Ivy League schools. Now, now she wants her money back from NYU, for my sister. Again. Open question. That, I'll leave you guys with that. A million people. Thank you.